What is up YouTube and welcome to this Archive 81 Ending Explained. This was a deep and complex show that really has filled the gap that the show Dark has left. We will mainly be talking about the cult, the demon and what could be coming in season 2. Now the show follows Dan as he is hired to restore some tapes of the documentary maker Melody when she started her documentary in 1994. In the modern day, he starts to realize that these tapes have something crazy that happened in the past, as his timeline and hers start to merge, and a documentary on an old building starts to unravel a multiversal mystery based on a cult of a demon. Now, to truly explain what happened, we need to go back to 1924, which had some crazy events. We follow Iris Voss in episode 7 as she creates her own cult. They needed to open a portal to Kaelgo's realm, the other world. This failed and created the fire that this whole building took place in. So the, the building burnt down and it led to a new building. And this led to Melody to start a documentary about that tragic building. It's in 1994 that the cult would once more try to summon this demon. Not sure why people are so wanting to actually summon these demons. It would scare the heck out of me. Now, each person would actually want to summon this thing for its own gain. And they all had their own different motivations with Iris wanting a child. However, the man we see in the last and in the documentaries Samuel is secretly part of the cult and on the surface trying to recruit a young girl Jess as the conduit for the ritual for the demon and she was ensuring or he was ensuring that well she would be fed this horrible little mold which would contain part of the demon's body it turns out Melody has a lineage of witches as well and is the precise person needed to start the ritual except this fails miserably and well Melody and Samuel are sacked into the other world and Jess survived and changed her name but what exactly is this demon well the demon's sculpture is made of a special gemstone called Chironite, and it's believed to be a part of a comet that crashed on the Earth's surface millions of years ago. This comet, called Chiron, is named after Hades' ferryman, who carries the souls of the dead across the river Styx. Now, Chiron makes its visit to our inner solar system once every 70.6 years. When this happens, there is a thinning between the two worlds, and the demon wants to make our world like his. In the 14th century, the Baldung Coven feared his coming and trapped the demon in the sculpture like we saw in the show. They sacrificed their magic to do this, and only a Baldung witch can succeed, which is why Melody was so important to Samuel's plans. Now, Jess was the vessel, and Melody was to be used to open up the portal. Her mother abandoned her, not wanting her to be burdened with all this, and Dan was also abandoned or, or had a, a missing father. His father did actually die and died as part of the cult plans. Now, Dan in the present finds all of Melody's tapes and throughout the course of the season unravels the mystery of what happened in the past as she is bleeding into the present as she's trapped in the other world and trying to help him free her, seemingly. Dan got hold of the tapes as Virgil hired him to restore them as it's believed they have the key to restoring the demon embedded into them, and certain items and different things like that do have a sort of supernatural energy. It did remind me of the objects of power in the game Control. Now, Dan actually connects with Melody as watching these tapes thin the veil between the worlds due to, you know, supernatural spoopiness. And he did start to hear or see the tapes of his predecessor who was actually doing this who went crazy now julia then reveals herself at the end just as it is all about to go off and explains that she hid in virgil's estate to use him to open the portal and get melody back she performs it perfectly and dan saves melody from the dream world but well sort of so samuel is there jess is in a kind of a dream world and they all have to escape this kind of weird dream world however he becomes trapped and wakes up 
inside of the other world's 1994 as he looks at MTV and the reporting of Kurt Cobain's passing. He is in this that Melody is then sent back to the real world and that is just crazy. This is just a short-ish video. I could have done a whole 20-minute video on a full breakdown, but unfortunately I did not have time to fully do that, but I absolutely adored this show. I thought it was beyond superb. A season two has been hinted at. The show's runners and creators have said that this wasn't, they never saw it as being just a season one, one and done, and have hinted that we might get a season two, albeit Netflix have not actually commissioned a season two. But considering that this is so much like dark as uh, Stranger Things and other shows like that, and it's slowly building up in the cultural lexicon right now as people are loving it, it's in the cultural zeitgeist, well... I expect the season two will no doubt focus on Dan's escape from this world and he will need to get out and finally defeat this demon. All the while, the Baldung handbook will need to be destroyed as well so that the cult can never, ever revive this damn demon once more. So, yeah, it's a really, really good one there. The series was superb, the drip feeding of it. I did, if I had any criticisms, it would be that it would be lopsided. For some reason, shows lately seem to have their penultimate episode kind of like real deep dive into the full, full lore and craziness of as what has happened. So many, many shows have treading water until the penultimate episode and then we get the finale of everything. But I thought it was it was good. I just would like it to be not a bit more linear. I felt like the show could have been a bit more linear. But the tapes and the different shows kind of hinting at Easter eggs of where it's going to go and what's going to happen was pretty darn neat, to be honest. I did think that the whole mystery was... It had me gripped. I watched this pretty much in one day, which is almost unheard of for myself as... I usually try and eke these things out, and I do prefer weekly shows, but it did have me absolutely hooked. But that is it for this video, so please do drop a like down below. Do subscribe with notifications on if you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like if you want more from us, and I will be back soon for a video. I've done a video on Euphoria if you wanted to check that out, but I will see you soon, and goodbye.